Good afternoon everyone. Today we have our 2004 Rinker 270 Fiesta V. It's powered by a 350 Mag MPI engine. I believe that rates out at 300 horsepower. It also has a Bravo 3 outdrive, dual prop, counter rotating, which is nice for getting out of the hole, as well as a straighter overall truer ride. Off the back, we have an extended swim platform with a fold down ladder and a uh, little bracket there to mount a table if you wanted to, or grill. We do not have the grill for it, but it's there for you to use if you'd like to buy one. The boat comes with a full canvas enclosure, which is currently up. It has both the front you know, camper enclosure, which encloses the whole cockpit. It's a very nice option. Uh, all in good condition, a little bit of wear, but all very see-through and it fits. And even uh, the previous owner just installed some zippers and things of that nature, which I'll show you once I get into the boat. A lot of this boat is inside. so. I'll show you the bow very quickly. Off the front, uh, you can walk through the windshield. You also have a Bomar hatch on the front for air circulation. And, uh, there is a windless anchor on this boat, and it's located in that hatch there. A remote spot, not sure if that works, but uh, we'll find out. And uh, yeah, so that windless option, the windless feature is really nice. You don't have to climb up on the bow and um, you know to throw the anchor. The boat also has a cockpit cover that when the whole bimini is not up or the enclosure is not up you can enclose the cockpit to protect the upholstery. It's a lot warmer in here guys. <laughs> it's January here so we're getting her done during the winter months. Inside the cockpit we have a table sitting here with a, which is removable you also have a back bench seat that's in pretty good shape. No major rips or tears, although there is a little, some cracking there, if you can see. Um, pretty good shape. The snapping carpet was put in within the last year or two. Berber snapping carpet that is removable. The backing isn't all torn up or anything like that when we put it in. Uh, lots of little things, stainless steel cup holders. This enclosure opens up and rolls up and you have a screen behind it so that you can open everything up in the summer and not have any bugs coming in. It's more like a little mini, very small condo. <laughs> uh, we have a wash sink here as well as a place to put trash. The I'm not going to open it now because everything snapped. The anchor, oh, I'm sorry, the engine well is and the hatch is electric so it comes up by the push of the button on the dash and then you can gain access to your engine compartment. All the upholstery in the boat shows very well. Some minor discoloring, but everything is still soft to the touch. A little bit of staining. Very minor. Still in good shape. Up on the helm we have a uh, compass and standard gauge instrumentation, a remote stereo, sometimes these don't work all the time. Uh, the spotlight control which is functioning as I play with it. Uh, Lenco electric trim tabs. Here's the windless anchor control. A VHF radio. Uh, yeah, built-in depth finder. It does not, the previous owner took their electronics off of the boat, so there's an area here that you can install and run some wires for a GPS or depth finder if you prefer. Inside the cabin, very nice large cabin on this rinker. I'm uh, 5'10 and I, there's room above me, probably a 6'6'3 six, six, person can get in without pushing their head down too far. Inside the cabin there's no mold or mildew staining on the headliner. All the upholstery in here is also in good shape. The boat does have air conditioning. 
and reverse cycle heat only hooked up to shore power AM FM radio uh, there's also room for a television if you so choose to put one in there it looks like the previous owner had one there as well it's no longer there plenty of storage for your gear storage underneath all of this in the front of the V-berth this also fills in uh, in order for a place to sleep for the evening too very comfortably here we have a little di uh, kitchenette if you want to call it that little alcohol electric stove not an alcohol stove refrigerator microwave wash sink all the carpet in here is in pretty good shape just the uh, no major staining, a little bit of wear areas. Here's your shore power hookup. I'm sorry, your shore power control. Does have a battery charger, air conditioning, uh, and a water heater as well. Inside the aft cabin, there's plenty of storage here on either side for your gear. Little carbon monoxide slash smoke detector there. There's your filler cushion, the intake for the air conditioner, st more storage. Two people can, this boat will easily sleep four people very comfortably. You can probably push it to five if there are children. We also have a ventilation window here in the aft cabin, which is a nice feature um, for, you know, those warmer summer nights if you're not running the air conditioning. Very simple, well thought out uh, boat here in very good condition for the year you can uh, oh forgot to close you the head show you the head inside the head we have a pump out head as well as a it's a manual pump a little shower that this is removable and you can shower in here with a drain wash sink and more area for your toiletries decent size head too you don't have to cramp to get in there and bend over to take a shower if you were going to. Fresh water system of course. Uh, I'm trying to make sure I didn't forget anything. There's a lot of options on this boat so give us a call and we'll go over everything it has um, if you get interested. It is a fuel injected engine so you just turn the key and it starts. It's not carbureted. Here's your gas fill in your waste pickup here on the starboard side. Port side will probably have your fresh water fill and all of that. As you see the eyes and glass is in pretty good shape, just some bird doo doo there. But uh, I'm going to push Mike off here. Another really nice option that this boat has is that extended swim platform. Uh, you can really hang out on the stern of the boat without worry of the kids, you know, jumping off the back of the boat and hitting the out drive or, and all of that. The boat also has uh, Lenko trim tabs, if I did, forgot to mention that to you. Pops up real nice on plane. No problem getting on plane with that 350 and the Bravo 3 drive. I didn't get all that canvas snap, that's what's blowing back there. Very nice day cruiser for the Chesapeake Bay or a weekend cruiser. Perfect for uh, someone who's just starting out in boating and wants to take the family for one nice boating adventures over the weekend. Mike's going to open her up here down the fairway. Boat will cruise, I would have with the 350 package and the Bravo 3, sorry you can't lost the boat there. You're going to be cruising between 28 and 30 miles an hour. And wide open, you're looking at about 38. Fully loaded with the enclosure up in conditions. You're not going to be burning through fuel, which is also nice with the smaller V8, small block instead of the big block. 
Remember at M&M Boats, we sell boats for less, guaranteed. We encourage you to shop our prices, and this one holds true to that motto. It is uh, very aggressively priced and in good shape, as you can see from our video. You can follow us on our YouTube channel, or our Facebook page, as well as our website, which is up to date in the story. We do post videos of all of the boats that we have in stock. Please reference the website, not just YouTube. Thank you for watching, guys. Our phone number is 410-391-2333.